Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's readings by Seriously with your girl Becky. Guys, coming at you with day number 30. We have officially made it, guys. You are so incredible, and I'm just so honored and blessed. If this journey has resonated with you, please leave a comment down below. Let us know how you feel, how it's changed your life, what it's done to impact you, if anything. Or, you know, if you guys have learned how to take care of yourselves better, right? It's all about consistency. It doesn't matter what you do in life as long as you're consistent. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you're consistent. And that is a key to remember on this journey. <sighs> Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys always know when the next video does come out live. And just for ease, I'll always post a video on my channel at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so that way you guys always know when to check the videos, okay? So, what do I have left to say? Honestly, guys, not a lot. I'm so... I'm grateful we're here. I am. I'm super... I'm, I'm like, happy that it's over, and it's, like, bittersweet at the same time, because it's like, oh my gosh, we're finally done, but at the same time, it's like, what do we do now? right? Even me, I'm kind of like, what do I do now? And I realized that this is the perfect place to talk about it. Don't let this be it for you guys. Don't just say, oh, I did this 30 days, I'm done, and not, not continue to do something for yourself, right? It's all about keeping up with this routine, and it doesn't have to be my routine. It just could be like, maybe you guys have taken one thing away from this journey, and keep putting that in your routine. Maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's using mantra. Maybe it's using affirmations. Maybe it's using, you know, yoga. Maybe it's journaling. Whatever it is, just keep on it. Guys, I will say journaling is one thing that I have been consistent with for five years now. And it has been the one thing that has truly changed my life. And I'll never forget when I filled up a journal for the first time. And it might not seem like that big of a deal. It's like, whatever, that's not that big of a deal. But when you've consistently sat down to write and you filled up a journal, you're just kind of like, wow. And I remember it took me just a little bit over three months and it was the first time I'd done a real like self-help and I mean I'm talking about a consistent journal I, I had filled up one journal and that was the first journal I filled up and it took me about two years okay of inconsistent journaling but I finally filled it up but I'm going to talk about the time that I filled up my first journal when I was consistent with writing and I decided to do this uh it's it was a journaling book that I had read and it was, it's Writing to Heal the Soul, and it's by Rebecca, and I can't remember her last name. The book itself is so healing, guys, and I still pull it out to this day because it's, the exercises are, the potential for them to uncover so much is so amazing. You guys, just, it doesn't matter if you've journaled about one thing, there's always going to be something else that will fit into the category, which is so beautiful about this journal. Uh, and I remember sitting down and my grandma had bought me this beautiful journal for Christmas. It was purple. Somehow it matched the book that I bought, which was also purple. And it took me weeks before I realized I was writing with a purple pen, not purple ink, but the out, the cover was purple. And it was so funny because I remember the first time I was like, this must be what a synchronicity is. And that was the first time I realized what synchronicities were. It was just like, oh my gosh. Okay. And I remember just being like, I just want, I want to use this book and I want to, this, this whole journal is going to be dedicated to journal entries from this book. And I actually got all the way through and I thought to myself, I was like, cool, do I have enough room to do this journal again? And I cannot make this up. When you talk about how synchronistic things are on your journey, how many entries there were in the book itself were exactly how many I needed to fill it cover to cover by doing the exercises two times and it was life changing. I got to pour out emotions that I had been holding in since I was like five years old, things that I remembered and things that came to. And it started this journey of really digging deep into who I am and what it is that I've been through and honing in on this idea that it is truly okay 
to feel how you feel on this journey. You know, I spent my whole life just being like, oh, I can't let my, even myself know how I feel and how much that really affected me. And that's why I say journaling is always going to be my personal go-to thing. I do a lot in the day for myself. Uh, Self-love has become just kind of this cocoon that I have probably wrapped myself up in. And it's just because for so long I was a people pleaser, guys. I wanted everybody to like me. I wanted people to see me. I wanted people to hear me. But I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. And seeing myself six months ago, seeing myself two years ago, seeing myself a decade ago, I would have never thought that I'd be here where I am on this journey. And the time passed, regardless if I took the steps to do what I did or not, the time already passed. And so that's why it's always good to remind yourself, no matter what, the day is going to go by. And it's always good to do at least one thing for yourself so that you guys can reap the benefits of it. So what do you do? Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Where there's a will, there's a way. So whatever it is that you guys have, because I am sure so many of you guys got inspired while you were taking this journey, it opened me up to so many things that I had thought were lost. And I'm just like, I have like a list of things that I'm just like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. I have plans for this. And it seems overwhelming. However, I know that... Breaking each one down and tackling it one at a time, just like this journey, one thing at a time, one day at a time, it's going to be manageable, right? And that's the beauty, the beautiful thing in all of this. And I pray that that is what you guys have learned on this journey, along with so much more. But if there's anything you take away from this, it's that the only thing that you can do to become successful in life is consistency. Like, that's it. Having consistency, being consistent, like constantly showing up, even if it's five minutes today, an hour tomorrow, 10 minutes the next day, three hours the day after that, whatever it is, what fits into your schedule and carving out time for that. You guys have consistently shown up on this journey and at least carved out 30 minutes to do this journey. That's a big deal. That is a huge deal. Now, the 30 minutes that you're no longer going to be watching my videos or longer for those of you guys that have shown up on my tarot readings, what can you do with that time? How can you dedicate that time to yourself and self-love, self-growth? Like, what can you learn for yourself? What books can you read? What activities can you do? What creativity can you put your expressions out into? That's the true meaning of discovering yourself. It's not necessarily about uncovering all this past. It's about truly expressing our feelings in one way or another. And that's what it is. I think people get so caught up on let's heal, let's heal, let's heal. But if nobody finds a creative way to express themselves, mine has always been journaling. I'm a writer, guys. I do. I love to write. It's, it's something I might not share with a lot of people. Everybody wanted me to because I'm really good at it. But I found on the journey that writing is something that it may come out down the road. Okay, I do have ideas. But for me, it's so personal. And I realized I had to enjoy it for myself. And so for me, I express myself through various forms of writing. And that makes me happy. It doesn't make me happy being like, oh, I need to share this with somebody. It doesn't make me happy saying, oh, I need somebody to validate this for me. That's not what makes me happy. What makes me happy is at the end of the day, I finish something in writing and I see my handwriting there and I see that it's completed from start to finish. I did what I set out to do, even if it was only a paragraph, even if it was only a page, even if sometimes it's five pages, I did what I set out to do. And that's self-gratifying. It makes me feel good. And plus I get to explore who I am in creative ways. That's why I had you guys journal. That's why I had you guys meditate because creativity is different for everybody. Sometimes we need to write it down so we can figure out who we are. So 
what do I want you guys to do today? In all honesty, it's Sunday. I want you guys to get out there and find a way to celebrate yourself. Take yourself out to dinner. Take yourself out for your best, your favorite snack. You know, maybe sit down and watch a movie you've been planning on watching for a while. Whatever it is, guys, I, I can't put, I can't be like, oh, you have to do this. No, because everybody finds celebration in different ways. But whatever it is to celebrate, even if it's getting a glass of champagne or a glass of wine or a beer, go and do that for yourself. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It just has to be you dedicating this time to yourself today to say, I did this and I deserve to celebrate this. And I deserve to look at what has happened over the last 30 days and realize that I did something good for myself. That's exactly what you did. You're not perfect. Nobody is. And that's okay. It's not about being perfect. It's about being consistent. And for those of you that have done this entire journey from start to finish, what do you think you did? You were consistent. Whether you showed up and journaled every day, even though I asked, right? I know it's hard. I know that's difficult, right? Even if you guys didn't do yoga every day, even if you guys didn't meditate every day, were you still consistent? Did you show up for these videos every day? Yes, that's a consistent action. So let's celebrate what you did do and whatever you feel like you didn't do that you quote unquote failed at, throw that away. Just throw that away. Let it go. Don't worry about it. Because while you're busy beating yourself up over what you think you did wrong, you're missing out on all the things you did right. And what I want you to do today is... If you take your journal with you while you celebrate, don't worry about looking weird. If you go to the bar and you whip out a journal right there and you like start writing things down while, while you guys are celebrating, I want you guys to celebrate the things you did. You showed up for these videos. I showed up for the videos every day. I showed up and I did this every day. You know what? I journaled five times a week. I journaled every other day or I did yoga every other day. I did. I meditated almost every day. You know, like whatever it is, don't, don't focus on what you didn't do. I want you guys to focus on everything that you did do. And I want you to write that down. And as you enjoy your celebration, I know that might be hard to do while you're in a movie, but still try to do it. Okay. As you guys are celebrating, I want you to think about all those things. Really? You took yourself out for dinner. Cool. Maybe you just want to go out for a drive. Maybe you want to go to the pond or the lake or out in nature. Whatever it is, guys. Think about the things that you did do. And that, that is true self-love. You guys have created a habit. A good one. This is a good habit. Because it means you're ready to take on yourself. And say, I'm going to take imperfect action. No matter what. It doesn't matter what you do, and it doesn't matter how you do it. The only thing that matters is that you're consistent at it. That's it. That's it. Even on this, I never asked you guys if you missed a day. I always told you to show up on the day of the video. Why? Partially because we talked about that in the videos themselves, but also because it's about staying with the program. We're not going to worry about the day that was missed. We're going to focus on today. And that's what we're going to do. You don't worry about missing yesterday. You don't worry about missing last week. You don't worry about missing the week before. You worry about focusing on what you're doing today. That's it. Okay? You guys know now you can cultivate your routine with journaling, with meditation, with yoga, with affirmations, whatever it is that you guys enjoyed, take it and work with it and see what happens. Six months go by and you guys consistently do even just one thing out of these, you guys will not recognize the person looking back at you in the mirror. You're going to be like, wow, I'm entirely different. And always, guys, feel free to revisit this 
whenever you just need to reconnect with yourself, whenever you just want that refresher to remind yourself that I can do this. I have done this. I can do this. I did it twice, guys. Once on my own and once with you. And both times have been equally as powerful. This is what I have for you guys. I love you so, so, so much. And I can't express the gratitude that I feel for having touched each one of your lives, but more just letting you guys into mine. It has been the most incredible journey. And it's so fulfilling. And I'm just so honored. I will still be here every other Wednesday with a tarot reading. I'm thinking about bringing something out at the beginning of the year too. I'm still thinking on it. It's not a promise, but it's something you guys can check back for. If you guys are interested, I am releasing a tarot reading with this one as well. One last hurrah, guys. We're going to get it all. We started this way. We're going to end this way with a bang. But I'm going to leave it there. I love you. Thank you. And until we meet again, guys, I hope you have a beautiful time. Bye.